Hey you guys, Crazy Tech Dude here. Today I'm going to show you how to get a Game Boy Advance emulator on your iPod. First off, you want to add two, Cydia, two sources in Cydia. Both are going to be down in the side, uh, down here. One's going to be simpleiphonerepo.com and the other one's going to be apt.123 locker.com I'll have both down below just, uh, for your reference um, after you add those sources in Cydia what you want to do is you want to go into your manages and sources and we'll wait up wait a second for this to load up so once you have those uh, Cydia sources loaded you want to go into simple iPhone repo source and go to the G's and go to GS phone cracked that's going to be your emulator for your Game Boy Advance so once this loads I'll show you so go right here scroll down to G and install this I already have it installed after you go there you want to go into your other source that you added and this shows you where all your ROMs are right um, I have the Pokemon ROMs downloaded so right here wait sorry okay where to go but yeah these are all your ROMs find the ones that you like and install it once you have that installed here it is right here right here it shows all the ROMs installed on your device um, we'll go into my Pokemon game as four options to play landscape and no sound landscape and sound portrait and no sound and portrait and sound we'll just go portrait and no sound as you can see as the toggles and the start, select, menu, move, and A and B button. This is pretty legit, you guys. Please check this out if you don't have it. Um, as you can see, I am playing Pokemon on my iPhone or my iPod. So as you can see, overall, I give this tweak a perfect 10 out of 10. Nothing wrong with it. See, I'm literally playing Pokemon. So overall, I give this 10 out of 10 stars, you guys. Go check it out. Um, please rate, thumbs up, and subscribe if you're not. All right, guys. Bye.